Again, doctor. Doctor. Good day. May I order a bouquet? I need it this weekend. A bouquet? Is it already that time again? You're heading to a ball again this year? That's right. A ball? Mm, same as always. Nico's favorites? No, I'd like to order lilacs this year. Lilacs? I thought I'd tell her the news when I visited this year. So, you finally decided to marry? I have. I could never forget Nico. Not a day goes by where I don't think. If only I'd made up my mind sooner with her, then asked her to move here. She wouldn't have been there on that tragic night. And yet, I have to move on. I think that's the right decision. We can't give up on our lives over those who have left us. We have to live! I'll make the biggest lilac bouquet you've ever seen. I'm sure Nico will be happy for you. And congratulations. Thank you. Why a lilac bouquet? Lilacs have a special meaning. A treasured memory. I see. I hope his message reaches her. It won't. Yes, She's dead. I believe it will. Let's see here, move along. Here. done cleaning up the house this house has plenty of room we can add more to our family and still be fine <laughs> but that means I'd have to work that much harder too it won't be so bad as long as we work together as a family it'll be okay yeah and Zavid will help out too yeah that's right we always help each other in times of need just like the way Zavid does <laughs> aren't you the bossy one but I hear you. We'll do it Zavid's way. Yeah! <sighs> I hope Zavid comes over to play soon. Zavid. We should ask them how they know him. Yes, we should. I'll handle it. Um, Eek. I'm Eleanor Hume, an exorcist with the Abbey. I'm terribly sorry to intrude, but I was hoping you would tell me how you all know Zavid. Oh, do you know Zavid too? Yes, we have a history. I was passing by when I just happened to hear his name, and I thought I'd ask. Oh, sure. Well, we feel like we owe him a great deal. I guess it all started when he kidnapped us. K kidnapped you? Let me explain. My wife and I, we were both chefs, and one day, Zavid showed up out of the blue and practically hauled us back to his home. There, waiting for us, were Theodora and these children. Theodora? Yeah, Theodora. You know, his girlfriend. His girlfriend. These children had lost their parents, and Zavid and Theodora took them in. Then, Zavid rushed us back outside. We were so startled by how sudden it all was. We had no idea what he was going to try to make us do. But then he asked us if we could cook the children a meal that humans would find delicious. You said that Malakim enjoy eating the same kind of food as humans do, but they lack the skills or know-how to cook it. At this point, how could we not help? We made them the biggest and best meal we could. It was huge and delicious. The what she said. curry nearly melted my face off. The pasta margarita was the best. Well, I loved the peach pie. But yeah, after that, we ended up stopping by the house a lot and started teaching Theodora some recipes. We lost a child to a demon. Ever since, we'd forgotten we could ever laugh. 
But Savid, Theodora, and the children. They gave us a newfound joy in life. From a kidnapper to a savior, then. Exactly. Until they came along, we'd never even realized that Malakim have hearts, just like people do. It's because they do that they fight alongside you exorcists against the demons. I see that now. Right. What was Theodora like? I love her. When I was too scared to sleep, she held my hand and let me sleep in her bed. She reminded me of my mom. But Zabid was always so mean to me. One time, he even hit me upside the head. You two were always roughhousing, being dumb and breaking stuff and getting hurt. Hey, you want to fight? Come on, you two. Calm down. It sounds like these kids were well-loved. Yeah. Ah, but one day, without any warning, Theodora left the house and went missing. And Zavid went off in search for his love, leaving you two to care for the children. He asked us to keep the kids safe until he and Theodora returned home. We just recently moved here, where there's a port. Because our old town was too remote. Alright, I think I get it now. Thank you for sharing your story with us. Zavid can be a bit rough and tumble. But he's a good man at heart. If he's in trouble, I hope you'll help him out. If not for him, then for the children. All right. I think that's the start of the quest to fight a dragon eventually. Oh, whatever. I don't care what you have to say, anyways. Not important enough to give voice acting, I don't give a shit. People have been saying that the Lord of Calamity destroyed Mercio, but do you know anything about what happened? Well, Mercio wasn't destroyed. It was more like taken over. All the people were driven out. How are other towns holding up? Well, there are more demons around than before. I'd say people are getting nervous. Is the demon blight really spreading? It's the worst it's ever been these past few years. In that case, it's more important than ever that we settle East Gand. East Gand has had the least trouble with the demon blight. More importantly, there's room here for so many to settle. So, you want to build a new town? Yeah. I'm thinking of the area around Lake Pernia. It's high up, but it's good land. Ready access to good fresh water is a big plus. The soil is rich there too, so it'd be a good location for a town. All right, now I'm getting excited. Me too. It won't be easy, but in this world, what is? Besides, I want to do my part to help people. Okay, last thing we'll need? Is ladies can't start a town without our better halves before we plan our town we'll need to plan for romance don't wow. waste your time what no woman will fall for a guy who whines about needing love or romance to make something of himself if you want proof look no further than the icy glares these ladies here are giving you oh that scorn I've never seen anything like it still it'll be lonely there with just a bunch of guys Speak not of dreams. Become them. I read that in a book once. People are drawn to those with conviction, who work hard to fulfill their dreams. In other words, find passion in something, and someone will take notice of you. A long time ago, I read that the secret to finding love is not to fall for someone, but to make someone fall for you. Okay, let's do it. Let's make our lakeside town a reality. Woohoo! The girls won't be able to keep their hands off us. Yeah, I got a passion for playing video games. I'm gonna keep playing video games until I find love. Sound plan, right? That'll be the next thing I go for. Theodora. She must be that white horned dragon, right? She must be. I don't see any other reason for Zavid to risk his life protecting a dragon. To be living with human children who have gone through such trauma, the risk of exposure to malevolence would have been high. And yet she was willing to help them, to take them in. It's no wonder Zavid wants to save her. But there's no way to turn her back into a Moloch, right? That's correct. Which is why you feel you have to kill it. 
I don't disagree with your conclusion. But? But I think you're going about it the wrong way. How so? No one would stand by and permit his former love to be killed before his very eyes. Even when said love has been irrevocably changed. If you could empathize with him and talk things out, I think you two can come to terms without having to fight. For some things, Eleanor, emotion runs too deep for reason to be heard. If he was so easily swayed that words could convince him, he would already have killed that dragon. But still... I'm not in the mood to argue. Let's just go. <sighs> if only I could learn how to control those flames. Yeah, you're useless. Sorry. Poor chest in this town. I really missed a lot here, huh? I don't see him on the map at all. Except for the one. Thanks for the reminder. I definitely need to hit up the shop. Shop here. There's a class four island that folks were too afraid to go near even before the demons showed up. If there weren't any demons, what was so scary? Well, the guy who owned the island was a real lowlife. They say he'd take a bunch of lawbreakers out there and make them kill each other. Bien. Crimes are not that terrible. The seas near the island ran red with the blood of the convicts. Hell, you could even smell it in the air. Folks say that even now, on nights when the sea turns red under the light of the crimson moon, the prisoner spirits return to the island. You ask me? I bet that those demons are reincarnations of the dead prisoners. If you go there, you'd best be careful. Just stay far, far away. Look at the boss with the three things. I heard about some Abbey people who went to recon a class four island and haven't come back. Oh, I wonder what's drawn their gaze. Well, recently, a fishing boat carrying demons washed up in the harbor and caused a real stir. The crew just probably caught demon blight, right? Well, about that. People found flowers on the ship that only bloom on that there Class 4 island. But even if the fishermen had gone near the island, they weren't the types who'd ever even consider setting foot on its shore. Could the demons have attacked the ship, then ridden it all the way to the harbor in search of more prey? The demons were wolfmen-looking guys. Certainly got the Abbey on alert. A whole bunch of intelligent demons is bad news. Wolfmen? An island of Therians? I'd say that place ranks sixth on the places where I'd least want to live. Wait, what the hell kinds of places are one through five? 
Undead, demi What's human. that you're pouring out? It's for Eifried's memorial. Captain, this is some good booze the first mate's been hiding away. Drink up! It's all yours! Ha! I'll never forget you, Captain. And I'll never forget that 500 gold I loaned to you either. And I'll always remember how hard your fists were. <laughs> That's just because you screwed up all the time, Benwick. I always meant to hit him back one day, but now I'll never have the chance. It's so unfair! Oh, shut up. It'd be a hundred years before you'd be able to knock him out. Not even Von Eifried would wait that long for you. Hey, I could have managed it in 50. <laughs> <laughs> well, this turned out to be a pretty lively memorial. To death, we are as equals. It comes to us all. There's no reason to treat it as something special. Exactly. And besides, we're all pirates here. Wherever we sail, death is always lurking beneath the waves. You're all prepared for it. Of course we are. Aizen, would you mind if I said a prayer for Eifried? You would? He's the most terrible villain in a hundred years. That's true, but I just... What if you prayed for Aizen's friends instead? I don't think there'd be a problem with that. Okay. Is it alright if I pray for your friends instead, Aizen? I'm not stopping you. Captain, I was more enriched by the days I spent sailing with you than the centuries I roamed in search of something to end my curse. Thanks for the fun, Eifried. I'm not sure how I feel about that. Kind of like the black. If I make the cat red? I heard that this recent rash of demon attacks is the work of a demon known as the Lord of Calamity. I heard that too. They say she built a nest in Mount Kilaros where she breeds swarms of demons like some kind of queen ant. Really? That's not what I heard. I heard she's a giant hideous hag with the head of a dragon and a mouth with gnashing teeth in each hand. I think they just called you a hideous hag. Mouth hands? Oh, how ghastly! That's not all. Those mouths spew forth clouds of toxic gas. Any human caught in it turns into a demon. Wait, is that where demon blight comes from? I couldn't say. It's just a rumor after all. But I haven't even gotten to the crazy part. This demon has a familiar, a short little thing that uses a huge board to create winds that spread the demon's poison. Rumor says that the nasty little creature takes the appearance of a trickster magician and is actually the demon's true form. So some short little monster has caused all of this? <gasps> kind of makes you hate anyone short, doesn't it? <laughs> so the Lord of Calamity is actually a short, phony magician. What do you know? Woe is me! My cover's been blown! Go, my hideous hag! Devour those meddlesome humans! You there with the big sword. 
You've got skills, don't you? How can you tell without seeing me in battle? I'm just a mere swordsmith, but I've known all sorts of swordsmen. Sometimes a sword's spirit is much weaker than its owner's, and it can't match its prowess. Other times, the sword's spirit is too strong for its wielder to master, and it holds its owner in disdain. You can tell? Even if someone doesn't draw his sword? Not always, but sometimes. In his case, it was easy. His spirit is in perfect sync with the one residing in his blade. Really? I never thought about my sword that way before. I'm sure whoever forged that sword is glad to have a man like you wield his work. I'd love to meet a swordsman to whom I could happily entrust my work. But first I need practice. I've got to sharpen my skills and my spirit. Good luck! Thanks. Next weekend is Bunny Bonanza Saturday. Bunny Bonanza Saturday? What's that? I've heard of this. You eat a hearty, healthy meal of rabbit meat to help you get nice and strong. You eat rabbits? No, silly. The night of the third Saturday of every month, lonely people go to sleep hugging a rabbit. Huh. If you go to sleep with a fuzzy friend in your arms, you're sure to have good dreams. No, I'm sure I heard that you eat them, too. You must be thinking of Rat Pig Roundup Saturday. There's a Saturday for Rat Pigs, too? Yep. On the night of the third Saturday of every month, people who aren't lonely eat rat pigs to get nice and strong. Makes sense. Rat pigs are great sources of nutrition. An amazing choice for anyone, lonely or not. The secret to a happy family is Rat Pig Roundup Saturday. That's what I always say. <laughs> I feel bad for the rat pigs. First mate, sir, I heard an interesting rumor. Apparently, Vortigern came under attack in the middle of Vortigern. reconstruction. The place was completely sacked. Are you serious? Any idea who did it? They say it was a single demon. He called himself Lancelot de Capulus and challenged one exorcist in particular to come try and fight him. Lancelot. That's Count Capulus's first name. The nobleman they say was kidnapped? Did he turn into a demon? Or is this some kind of scheme? Hey. Any chance you know if the exorcist he wants to fight is Shigure? Yeah, he seeks a duel with Legate Shigure Rangetsu, or so the rumor goes. That's the real Count. That's a bit of a leap. The Count is a prideful man, but when the Abbey stole his political power, his own former servant Shigure rose to Legate and suddenly outranked him. The disgrace must have been worse than death. Then the lord your family used to serve was... That's right, the Kapaluses. Then... If the Kapaluses were the royal family's hidden dagger, the Rongetsu clan was its blade. A demon that can wipe out Vortigern is no joke. If we could team up with him, that'd give us a real edge. That's a real big if for some of us, Aizen. <sighs> Velvet, is everything okay? Don't worry, I'm all right. I was just thinking of something that Salika liked to do whenever we passed a gravestone. Like what drop trowel and piss I have on it. I a secret to tell you, she'd say. Then she'd hand me a flower and add, take it to the grave. What does that even mean? That's just a bad pun. Exactly. Salika loved her puns. Nico's dogs are so cowardly that when a stranger comes by, they don't bark. They hide up on the woof. <laughs> hey, that's pretty good. No, it's Ugh, not. I feel like someone just broke my funny bone. I always told her to stop with all the bad jokes. I thought they were so lame. But now that she's gone, I miss them. Every day with Celica was bright, filled with joy. I realize that now. She'd be happy to hear that, you know? It sounds like Celica and Magilu had a lot in common. Hmm. 
If you're trying to say I'm an unre pun itent punster, I'd have to object. But if you're trying to say that I'm witty, charming, and the party mood maker, I'll take it. Hey, Velvet, you can think of me as your new sister. I won't stop you. I'll even let you call me Big Sis. I'm this close to suing you for defamation of character. I knew I'd see you in court one day. Judge, objection! This is a witch hunt! <laughs> You're incorrigible. Anyway, we don't have time to get all misty-eyed. Let's go. Also, like... It's lots of set zone gray. Probably acknowledge that. So I think I've gone to every city now. Um, maybe... No, I haven't gone to... Here. Shouldn't be anything going on here, though. Huh? But there is. What's up, bitch? Kamawana's come down with a fever. Good. What? Hope she dies. I've been tending to her. But it just won't go away. She just keeps mumbling over and over about how she doesn't want to take her mom's medicine. Kamawana. We've heard her talk about her mom's medicine before, haven't we? I gather that it's something her mom used to make her take whenever she came down with a cold. It might be something specific. If there's any left, it would be back at her old house in Haria, right? Probably. I don't know if it'll work now that she's a Therian. But I'll go and try to find it. You'll do no such thing. I'm sorry, but the Abbey's still looking for you, and there's no way I'm about to hand you over. Don't try to stop me, Velvet. Look, we'll go to Haria. You stay here and take care of Kamoana. Eleanor. Velvet, if you try to fight Medissa, it won't end well. And I would back her up, too. Look, if we have time to argue about this, we have time to go find that medicine ourselves. Yeah, I guess you're right. Thank you. Eleanor, why are you going so far out of your way for Kamawana? After my mother was taken from me, I found myself an orphan of the Abbey. I grew up figuring that I'd probably become a nun and spend my life in mourning. But on the night of the advent, my inner resonance awakened. I honestly believed that I had been given the power to change the world for the better, you know? Less sorrow, less suffering. But even after I donned the mantle of the exorcists, I was still pathetic, full of ideals, but so ignorant of the way things really work. That ignorance is what drove me to go after Mahina and take her away from Kamoana. I can't change the past, but at the very least, I can atone. I'd do anything to give her a chance. Uh. All right, then. She's in your hands. We'll be as quick as we can. What? What was that I just felt? Lafayette? Is everything okay? Yeah, it's just... I don't know how to explain it, but I sensed something, and it wasn't good. It's like something dark dug itself into my chest. Eleanor's the same as always, right, Rokuro? Nothing different? Yeah, same old fired up Eleanor. At least, that's what she projects. The cheap project? That's what she projects? What the hell is that? That was a fucked up translation. I have some shit worth buying.
Okay. Look, I finally opened enough of them to get whatever their big secret thing is. Was it only showing two of my quests? I have a shitload more than that. Oh, really? Because I just got put on the rails. And some shit's about to go down. You could have let me teleport here. There's no cutscene between the places. I want to go to Talison and see what's up with that cat's thing, but whatever. Thinking of going this way, you should reconsider. And why is that? A real nasty demon's taken root up in Haria Village. It's a huge troll with a big old club. And this isn't the first village the brood has taken out. Did you say a troll? You didn't happen to hear if the troll was wearing a large jewel, did you? Yeah. I hear the greedy beast's been going around stealing all sorts of treasure. It's a demon. pale what's wrong i i'm fine it's nothing if you say so hey laffy sets your partner you realize that he can probably sense your worries i don't care if you keep secrets from the rest of us but you should at least be straight with him you're right rokuro i should i'm sorry laffy said that's okay i don't know how much help i could be anyway well having someone listen would be help plenty I think the demon that Bloodwing mentioned could be one that attacked my village. Is that... when you got your scar? It was when a group of giant trolls descended on our home. They were after a jewel housed in our shrine. A jewel called Eleanor. Same name as you. It means light. The jewel shone brilliantly, even when in total darkness. It gave its blessings upon our village, and in turn, we safeguarded it for generations. During the attack, my mother and I fled with the jewel to keep it from falling into the demon's hands. But we didn't get far. I got hurt, and my mother... She... used the jewel to draw their attention away from me. She died, protecting me. I see. So if the demon possesses this Eleanor jewel, you'll know it attacked your village. And that it's responsible for your mother's death. Exactly. <laughs> your mother's stuff. If you stuff. want vengeance, I've got your back. It sounds like this one will put up a fight. But you know Velvet. She doesn't like us calling the shots. Knock yourselves out. Wow. If there's one thing I can connect with, it's wanting revenge. Just so we're clear, this thing isn't the reason I joined the Exorcist. Translation's this like thing, falling apart here. You talk of avenging your family, and it's just this thing? My mother said... Stay strong and keep living. As she lay dying, she begged me to survive. And I want to be that person. I want to be strong. Right now, my first priority is to find Kamoana's medicine. 
That's all I'm saying. Hey, whatever. It's none of my business. But I better not hear you complaining if I end up devouring that demon first. Got it? I have to be strong. I have to be strong. For Kamoana. And my mother. <sighs> Did that weird feeling just come back? Yeah. So apparently, they just went ahead and dropped uh, the budget for anyone proofreading and making sure the translations match up. Because, yeah. It seems like every bit of text was a little bit off. Just a little off. It's like an automatic closed captioning. It, 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 some of it didn't even make sense. I gotta assume this is gonna be a fairly easy one since it's forcing me to fight it. Hmm. I'm not seeing any of those demons we heard about. Let's look for the medicine while we can. Hey, this is what we're looking for? I think so. Hey, there's a note attached to it too. A note? Is it instructions on how to prepare the medicine? No, it's more like directions on how to administer it. This medicine is extremely bitter. Kamoana hates taking it. If she develops a fever while I'm away, you need to do specific things to get her to take it. There are three way- <sighs> Look! It's wearing a jewel. That's... it. That's Eleanor. Then this must be what killed Eleanor's... <laughs> oh! Eleanor! Go give her some help! You killed my mother! I hate you! Prepare to die. Not theronizing. I can't die here. How responsive the controls are acting. Like I said before, the larger the enemy, the less responsive the controls seem to be. Makes me think it might be something related to lag. Oh, 
Clearly mid dodge. I wouldn't let me goddamn Mystic Arc for however long. Of course, now I lost it. That's a double fuck you. Scratching myself, I didn't even see what hit me. Okay, that was bullshit. Yes, quickness when there's two people down. On target. Get away! Blow Inferno! Take that! 
like how it activated after I got hit. Facing me for quite a while. Wow. That was just dumb. I've not seen an attack come after this guy in quite a while. God damn it. Look how I bitched about how I can't see before I died. All three of you went to steal my soul. Oh. 
Like you had a huge one before you had time to move, buddy. AI is not very high. Not Mystic Art. That was three in a row where it didn't let me. Try to do it at the end of all those combos. Well, maybe a little now and let me do the good ones? No, of course not. Finally, let me do it, just not the good one. Of course. Guard off before he bullshitted me. Oh, 
Can you just shut up and die? Thank you. I did it. I finally did it, Mom. <sighs> Eleanor? I just... I don't know how to feel. I wanted this so badly. Vengeance. Closure. It makes sense. This is what's been driving you. I suppose you're right. But if this is truly a part of me, I can't help but empathize with Kamoana. I'm good now. If she ever found out the truth of what I did to her mother, I know exactly how she'd feel. She'd want to kill me. I... I don't know about... It's only natural. You said so yourself. I can't stand it. It's eating me up inside. I keep telling myself I did it for her own sake, but I... I've just been lying. I'm horrible. If Kamoana ever attacked me, maybe I'd end up killing her too. Just to save my own worthless skin. That's not who you are. It is exactly who I am. And besides... Kamoana's only alive because she ate her own mother. I have a hard time believing that any salvation awaits someone like her. Ah, uh, of course. I get it now. You've been carrying this pain for a long time. My mother told me to stay strong and keep living. I'm only here right now because she sacrificed her life. And yet, I'm selfish. Pathetic. Mm-hmm. You're all those I'm things. So, so sorry, Kamoana. <laughs> mother. This is bad. She's exuding malevolence. No! Don't try to carry the burden all by yourself! Ah! If we don't do something, Lafayette's going to lose his vessel. It's fine. Let her spill it all out. Imbecile! Without a vessel, he'll turn into a dragon! All hell will break loose! Method one, wrap the medicine in sweet starch paper. This only works about half the time. Usually she just eats the paper and spits the medicine back at you. Method two, mix it in with her meals without telling her. It tends to make the food bitter. I think she's catching on. It's gotten harder to trick her and she may refuse to eat. Method three, pinch her nose and force her to swallow it. But be very careful. She will struggle and try to bite. You don't want to lose a finger. Is this really the time? Is that... the note you found? Yes. It's the one Mahina left with her daughter's medicine. Her duties must have often taken her away. Someone else had to watch Kamoana. Her fevers are caused by mental distress, but for some reason she believes that these bitter berries are medicine. If she takes one, her mind will stop racing and she will calm down. I realize that this is an awful lot to ask, but please, I love her very much. Please make sure that she takes her medicine, no matter what you have to do. She can be awfully stubborn, but deep down, she's just a kind-hearted girl who's very, very lonely. Please, please do what you can for her. I can't thank you enough for your help. I didn't realize that her mother was... so... <laughs> yeah, it looks like her mom had a bit of a forceful streak with her, doesn't it? Nobody's a saint in this world. Not even our own mothers. If they need to, they'll lie and use force. You do absolutely whatever it takes to protect your child. The resolve... Mm. to protect your child. Well, Eleanor, have you calmed down now? Yes. I apologize for my behavior. So, what are you going to do, now that you've been asked by both Medissa and Kamoana's mom? I guess... No. I'll make sure she takes the medicine. I swear, she will get better. Do whatever you feel you need to. Alright, get a move on, guys. Let's hurry back to Kamoana. With our bag of placebo. Yeah. 
there. Fee, are you holding up okay under the malevolence? I'm fine. It's Eleanor I'm worried about. She'll manage. That woman takes no half measures. Not with life, not with malevolence, and not with fighting to overcome it. She will get through this. That's just who she is. Yeah. That's just true You're she right. is. Show him. Like the closed captioning on uh, YouTube where it's automatic. Doesn't always make a lot of sense. The jewel. It smashed to bits. I'm sorry, Eleanor. I know how important it was to you. It's our fault. We were too reckless. We're sorry, Eleanor. You better be sorry! That thing must have been worth a king's ransom! Mogilu, stop that! It's fine. Going easy on a demon wouldn't really suit you guys. Besides, my mother imparted kindness and generosity upon me, and those are more valuable than any jewel. Are they, though? I'll take the jewel. Get my ass off the rails. Those guys. What? Are you molting? This is serious! Kamoana's gone delirious from her fever! She turned into a Therian and went crazy! Where's Medissa? She used herself as bait to lure Kamawana away and keep anyone here from getting hurt. They looked like they were headed for Mount Killeraus, but I'm not sure how long Medissa will be able to hold out. We need to go after them! Are you all right with me taking the lead? Yes. Go ahead! Well, I'm going to be heading into dangerous territory, and my cat needs attention. I've been patting her for a while here. So, I'm going to take a break, because my cat says so. He's the boss. <laughs> 